Dr. Jonathan Lusgarden. I'm the founding partner of the uh, Central Jersey uh, uh, practice of, uh, of neurosurgeons of New Jersey uh, and uh, an expert in surgical treatment of uh, facial pain, brain tumors, pituitary tumors, and complex spinal problems. Uh, the um, microvascular decompression is the only treatment that uh, directly addresses and corrects the root cause of a trigeminal neuralgia in the vast majority of patients who suffer with this uh, debilitating and terrible painful condition. Uh, there are a host of other treatments available, but most of them are based on the concept of uh, partially damaging the trigeminal nerve in order to minimize the pain that it's generating for the patient. Uh, these, what we call ablative procedures, ablative meaning procedures that partially damage the nerve, um, can be very successful and are often a, an excellent or first, uh, very, very uh, appropriate first line treatment for many patients. Uh, the one we think of most often is uh, gamma knife radiosurgery, uh, where in a completely non-invasive fashion, we can deliver super highly focused radiation to the trigeminal nerve to uh, hopefully eliminate the pain without surgery. However, that procedure does cause a minor degree of damage to the nerve. And at the, uh, the bigger concern, however, is that especially for patients who are younger, that approach does not correct fundamentally the cause of trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is a condition caused by a actually normal blood vessel at the base of your brain that happens to have landed basically in a position coming out of the base of your brain where it's touching the nerve that carries sensation from your face. The uh, chronic effect of this uh, blood vessel pulsating against the nerve can essentially damage the insulation of the nerve, if the nerve can be thought of as a circuit or a wire, uh, and cause the nerve to fire inappropriately, generating horrible electric painful impulses uh, in, in a patient's uh, face. Uh, the concept behind microvascular decompression is to uh, actually do a small open surgery under a, a very high powered microscope to uh, dissect down to where that nerve and blood vessel are at the base of your brain and remove the blood vessel, the offending blood vessel that's, that's causing the damage to the nerve and uh, reposition it away from the nerve and leave a little sponge implant in there that will keep the blood vessel away from the nerve. Um, the great advantage of this procedure, as I said before, is that it is the only way to correct the actual cause of this condition. It is an extremely safe and effective procedure for the vast majority of patients. Uh, in my personal experience, having practiced uh, for 25 years and done these procedures over a very long period of time, I have found the, the effect in this to be uh, greater than 90%. Uh, complications are extremely infrequent, uh, but obviously it is a very serious operation and uh, in particular it's absolutely critical that this surgery be done by a neurosurgeon with a dedicated interest in this area who has uh, trained extensively in it as it is a very intricate and uh, technically demanding procedure.